Hello everyone, my name is Ramtin and here I want to talk about reconstructing binary trees from queries in parallel. So the problem is that you are given a set of nodes or leaves of a binary tree and the goal is to find the edges or relationships between the nodes of the tree using queries. So depending on the context of the problem, each query may reveal certain type of information and may either take some leaves of the tree or some general nodes of the tree, including the internal nodes. So we study the tree reconstruction algorithms based on query complexity and also round complexity. Uh, this work is motivated by reconstructing or finding the uh, tree of life uh, and also digital phylogenetic trees where each node represents a data object and the relationships of branches basically shows how these objects have been you know evolved uh, in evolved by the time uh, uh, you know through the uh, compression or um, corruption and this problem uh, has been also uh, abstracted as hierarchical clustering where the goal is to provide a grouping a structure of the objects according to their similarity. So the problem is that we are given a set of leaves of a rooted full binary tree and we want to learn the tree using relative distance queries also known as closer queries in parallel. So each relative distance query or you know closer query takes three nodes uh, A, B, and C, and it finds the pair with the lowest common ancestor. So if it is given A, B, and C, and if A, B uh, have the lowest common ancestor, then the resulting structure after this query would be like this. So the algorithm is uh, very simple. It takes two arbitrary random uh, vertex A and B at the beginning, and then it performs queries closer A, B, and C for each um, other leaf C to split all of the nodes into three sections according to their similarity to um, A or B, or if, you know, if A, B, C, uh, is the most similar pair, uh, then they, you know, they just reside in the remaining set R. So we recursively build the tree for each section, and then um, we merge those trees uh, with each other. In order to see more details about this merge function, we can just uh, read our, our paper and it results in a quasi-linear number of queries and of log of n runs with high probability. So um, the second problem is that we are given a set of nodes of a rooted binary tree and we want to learn the tree using past queries or ancestor queries. Each past query or ancestor query takes two nodes like u and v, and it returns true if u is an ancestor of v. So a key idea in our tree reconstruction algorithm is that in a rooted uh, tree, uh, t of bounded degree d, uh, there is an edge uh, e such that, you know, if you remove the edge e, then each of the two resulting subtrees have a size of a constant factor uh, d minus 1 over d of the original size of t. And the thing is, you know, if you find an even interpreter, we can just, you know, um, split the nodes of the tree into uh, two parts and we can just build the tree recursively. But finding an even interpreter may be too hard and it may require uh, 
finding the exact number of descendants of a node. So instead, we find a near edge separator uh, for binary trees, which is very good for our purposes. And you know, a near edge separator results in just a constant factor of size of the original t, but not necessarily t minus one over t. So in order to see if an edge e uh, like you know from u to v uh, is a nearest separator we can just estimate the number of descendants of v's using a sample of you know the whole uh, sample out of you know all of these nodes and we can just rescale the number of nodes which you know lie in this um, uh, green section to find an estimation of the number of descendants of B. So the algorithm is uh, in the simple form is like this. Uh, we pick a vertex V from T, we find all of the nodes on the path uh, root from root to that vertex V with constant probability there is a nearest separator on that path. So if the path is small enough, then we estimate the number of descendants for each of the nodes on the path using a sample size of, of log of n. Otherwise, see the paper for to, how, in order to see how to shorten the path. And if all of the estimations were too high or too low, just give, give up on this vertex v and we take another vertex. Otherwise, we verify one of these edges by finding the total number of descendants of uh, the child node and we find an area separator. It results in a quasi-linear number of pass queries in all flock of n runs. Thank you for your attention.